Well, Priceless goes for uh, the King's Stand after a very pleasing start to the year, um, uh, winning her listed race, the Lansdowne Phillies race down at Bath very impressively, and then ran creditably in the Palace House at Newmarket, um, finishing fifth, and, um, and then ran very impressively uh, to win the Temple Stakes at Haydock. Um, she's a filly that has undoubtedly kept improving with age, did very well over the winter, and um, you know she likes top of the ground so uh, it looks like we'll have ground conditions in her favour for the first day of, of Ascot next week. It's a seriously competitive race um, and uh, we won it last year with Profitable. Um, he's, he's one that um, you know he's, he's tried and tested uh, on this track. Um, I think you know there, there are all manner of horses that we could make cases for um, but she's an improving type of filly and, and um, that's you know we're, we're hoping that she's going there in good order. Heartache, um, also uh, a very impressive winner down at Bath on her racecourse debut, um, winning a maiden by six lengths. Um, she's a filly that we, we, we've always liked, very good natured, lovely temperament. Um, her mother won the Lansdowne uh, listed fillies race for us down at Bath as well. And um, she runs in the Queen Mary. She's a filly that we like a lot. She's got a you know, um, lot of speed, uh, but a wonderful temperament, great character and um, which will be suited by the big day at Ascot, I'm sure. And she's trained really nicely since um, her debut win down at Bath.